Hey everyone, I'm Nickel here. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you about this JSDOS. JSDOS is a JavaScript library and framework that allows you to run old DOS programs and games in a web browser. It is based on DOSBox, a popular x86 emulator and uses WebAssembly to provide high performance and compatibility. So if you want to run any of the DOSBox games or software, you can run it in JSDOS as well in a browser. So in this video, I'm going to provide almost everything that you need to know about this JSDOS. So let's get started. First, if you want to know more about this JSDOS, we need to go to this website. I'll keep the link in the description. So let's go to getting started. So here you can see few templates on how to run this JSDOS in your website. So let's scroll all the way over here. And if we expand and copy this, this is almost everything that you need to know about the basic setup of JSDOS. So I've copied this into VS Code and I've made few changes. And now I'm going to explain like what all is needed and how we can adjust this JSDOS to our likings. So in order to run this JSDOS, we need to have these two things imported. The first one is JSDOS CSS, all the style sheets that you need to have in order to run this JSDOS and the script to run jsdos which is jsdos.js so these two things are the needed ones and we need to create a div in order to inject this jsdos into that div and we need to reference that div and pass it as a first argument for this dos that is almost everything that you need to do and the second parameter is going to be an optional one so even if you delete this one and try to save this and let's try to run this one quickly and see what it will do and yeah as you can see now it is asking for a file to load so I'm having a few zip DOS games in my local let me open that so here I'm selecting this pacman first and if I click on this run button as you can see our zip got loaded into this DOS box environment and now if you type dir as you can see this is the file we need to run packpc2.exe let's run this one and if i hit enter as you can see this gets started so let me refresh this one and we can also auto load the game by creating .js dos file i will also show like how we can do that in this video so let's go to this jsdos once again and let me open this vs code and try to put back everything and here these are almost the needed settings like if you want to have the keyboard layout for the mobile you can do that over here by just specifying what you want what keys you need and that will be shown on the screen and here we can set the theme and we can set the backend DOSBox or DOSBox X. For now, this supports both DOSBox and DOSBox X. So that is all you can have like these two versions of DOSBox. And if you want to auto start, you can do that from here by selecting a JSDOS file. And if you don't want the side panel to appear, you can set this kiosk to true. And if I save this and I'm also setting this auto start to true and back into DOSBox. If I comment this out, which is going to defaultly load DOSBox instead of DOSBox X. So let's do that one and quickly see what it can do. If we go to the file again and refresh this and let's load this .js DOS file. I've already created this pacman.js DOS. So let's open this and as you can see this is getting loaded right away so this is what you can do so here i'm having this github repository link for the jsdos v8 i'm going to also give this link in description so here if we go to this dos.zone you can play almost all the games you can see over here in the jsdos so now let's focus on the jsdos so now as you can see here a few options will be having the documentation of the same if we click on this player api and if we scroll down 
you can see all the options which can be included in this particular second argument over here and if you scroll a little bit down so here you can see the methods which can be used in order to get the same almost the same data uh, what you are using in the options so you can also have a look at this so this is pretty much you want to know about JSTOS in order to use this JSTOS in your project and now let's go to this bundle creation section here it will let us know how to create a bundle in order to run files automatically in JSTOS so here if you click on this bundle generator it redirects us to this DOS zone slash studio I'm going to also provide this link in description so now let's select a file so I'm going to select this space invaders clicking on open and it already detected which file should be used so which is the correct file also I'm using this invaders.com if you want to select another file we can click over here and browse through the zip so here I'm clicking this use now and then it is going to show few configurations you can change this however you like and also you can see this auto exec which is going to load at the start of the JSTOS box instance so let's click on this create archive and if we click over here the JSTOS file gets downloaded and if we need we can also add the layers over here for keyboard keys for mobile so if I click over here and yeah as you can see I can bind any key that I need so I'm deleting for now and now I'm saving this file so as you can see which got saved into downloads folder let me run this one by opening this JSTOS and if I click on this show all files let's select this space invaders and as you can see this one got loaded full screen because we have selected this render aspect as fit to the screen so it auto fits to the screen if you don't want this you can also comment this so yeah that is what you can do and if you want to look into what gets loaded when we use this JSTOS we can go to this developer section and developer tools and then let's go to network if we refresh this and let's select a game let's select the space invaders again so if I open this as you can see our emulator.js got loaded and also if we go to this sources and expand this WSM as you can see which shows almost all the code which is needed in order to run our JSTOS program so yeah this is pretty much all that you want to know about this JSTOS project and also you can quickly use this JSTOS in one of your projects. So when I looked for any video like this which explains almost everything I did not find any. So I'm making this video after I understand how this JSTOS works. So that's for now guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Subscribe and like to watch more videos like this. If you like this video hit the like button and thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.